Hello and welcome to a leveling guide for Critica Online. Now, it's kind of hard to do a guide for this, so you're basically just going to have to listen to what I say instead of having a visual representation. Now, you're going to be put into the tutorial zone as soon as you start, and once you've done that, you're going to be placed into the Watchtower, which is the first quest hub. But what you're not going to do is take any quests. Nope. What you're going to do is head over to this fancy portal over here, and you're going to do the first dungeon. So here we are, that's the first dungeon. Or it might be that one. Or it could be that one. I don't remember. But you're going to be doing whatever dungeon is available to you until you unlock the next one. And you're going to rinse and repeat until you get to the next town. And then you're just going to do the same thing again. Do the highest available dungeon to you. And then repeat it until you level up and unlock the next dungeon. Now what happens with the questing is, once you've ran out of this purple bar, which you'll notice, which is your rest points. Rest points will set every day at 12 o'clock at night. And it gives you a thousand percent extra experience for completing the dungeon. And of course, like for killing mobs and stuff. But that doesn't give you much experience compared to actually completing the dungeon. And has no effect on quests. So once this purple bar is gone, it's basically, why bother playing? So we're going to be using the blue bar to do the quests. So you just continue doing the quests. Doesn't matter if they give shit experience at your level. Just do the quest, continue on, until you've done everything possible and you're forced to grind. And when you get to that stage, it's best just to stop, wait till tomorrow so you can have this purple bar back, and then you continue on. As for your weapons, if you come over to an anvil and you have a... I think it's like a whetstone or something like that. The best remember. No, nope, not that one. Enhancing anvil. You go here and you can use one of your... Whatever, let's just put that in there. Yeah, a whetstone. You can use one of these to upgrade your weapons. I say take it up to maybe plus four, plus five, not any higher than that because that'll be a waste of money. And that should be enough to get you through the entire game. So that's it for this quick video. I know there's not much going on in it and I know it's mostly just me talking. But I hope it's helpful and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.